Now we are going to see the synthesis of tolazolin. First, we will see the structure of tolazolin that is, it is having this toluene nucleus and also that is connected with imidazolin. Otherwise, we can tell it is a benzyl group. That benzyl group is connected with imidazolin. Here we have a tolazolin no, so we can divide the word into two that is tol plus azolin. So this tol no that is indicating the presence of toluene. So this part is a toluene part. So presence of toluene, otherwise this can be called as a benzyl. And azolin no, so that is indicating the presence of this one that is called as imidazolin. Already we have known about imidazole. So what is imidazole? 5 member heterocyclic ring with 2 nitrogens at 1, 3 means that is called imidazole and that should have 2 bonds inside. If 1 bond is not there, that is called as imidazolin. Without bonds, it is called as imidazolidin. But look at this, it is having only 1 bond. That's why it is an imidazolin. So what is tolazolin? Fusion of the toluene ring with imidazolin that's why tall no that is indicating toluene part that is the benzyl one and azolin is indicating presence of imidazolin so here parent is imidazolin in second portion of imidazolin toluene is connected that is benzyl would be connected and that's why it is called as two benzyl two imidazolin why it is called two imidazolin because the double bond is present between two and three that's why it is called as two benzyl two imidazolin and uh, this is a alpha adrenergic receptor antagonist and it is used as a as an antihypertensive agent a vasodilator now we'll see the synthesis of tolazolin for this synthesis we have taken the starting material as phenyl acetonitrile why because we have known acetonitrile that is CH3CN acetonitrile or methyl cyanide so here one hydrogen is replaced by means so of that phenyl means that is called as phenyl acetonitrile phenyl acetonitrile and then here this part no so this is called as a benzyl group so benzyl is attached with cyanide that's why it is otherwise called as benzyl cyanide so we have taken phenyl acetonitrile that is treated with ethylene diamine CH2NH2, CH2NH2, no, that is called as ethylene diamine. So, by the addition of these two, here one nitrogen, so one nitrogen, here one hydrogen, here two hydrogens, that would be removed as ammonia. So, the left thing, no, so here NH CH2, here N CH2, that would be added with the carbon and that would be fused and we are getting tolozolin. It is used in the treatment of Persistent pulmonary hypertension of a newborn and also in the treatment of the Reynolds disease. Thank you.